across here, RVR TV. Welcome. We're leaving Searchlight. We're heading due east. This is Cottonwood Cove Road. We're heading down towards the uh, Colorado River and Lake Mojave. There's a resort down here, believe it or not. Never knew it until my friend Kim Scott told me about it. Camera's not picking it up. Uh, there's, you can see old mines along the road here. A couple of them still look active. Okay, looks like the entrance, and guess what? This is a national recreation area. They got fees, but guess what? My senior card will get me in. Yay! You know, I've used this so much this year. It's paid for itself four times over already. Because the fee to get in here is 25 bucks. Guess what? All I gotta do is show the card. All right. Hi. Do you have National Park Pass? Yeah, I do. You know all this is down in oh, here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a hidden secret. It is. It is. It's beautiful. Well, thank you so much. Have a good day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a nice young ranger lady. Give me a map. It's National... Uh, park area reserve all the way up and down to Colorado clear up past uh, Hoover Dam Lake Mead all that not bad so alright well we're gonna head on down check it out never been here view all right let's take a scenic view you can see the lake off to the right there a little bit and here's the official entrance National Recreation Area. Yeah, it's vast. It goes all the way up on the map. Up, clear up to Lake Mead, Hoover Dam. There's Lake Mojave. So that dam down there at Bullhead City, at, what was it called? Davis Dam, I think, creates that lake. Okay. Man, the wind is screaming. sign back there said 14 miles and I think they're right it's a little ways down there roads not too bad a little rough but look at all the washes you drive through this must be a raging river in heavy rains really runs across this road because this is a straight drop straight down Aha! Storyboard! Yay! Let's check it out. See what they say. Pretty faded sign. Lake Mojave! See how big that recreation area is? Look, it goes all the way up around Lake Mead. Okay, there's Lake Mojave. What's this one? About wildlife. You see those a lot, those boards. 
teddy bear. Okay, well, let's head on down to the water. Okay, we're getting close. Boy, the wind's really picking up. That storm front must be coming in. Here we are. Looks like what's this up here? Visitor center. Okay. See a few palm trees because they got water. Campground coming up. So that must be their visitor center. Ranger station. Sorry. buildings there. Boy, look how high those berms are on both sides. Too bad I can't fly the drone here, but I can. Okay, right there on the right, that's all closed off. It said upper campground area, but it's all closed off. Looked overgrown. Okay, up here. Wow, look at that rock wall to funnel the water. Holy moly. Wow. Oh, there's a mobile home park here. Look at that. Look at that rock wall. Look at that thing. Big old palms. I see boats underneath the carports of the mobile homes. I wonder if you can rent them, lease them. I don't know. Google it. Man, there's a few of them in there. Maybe some of the workers live there. I see a marina coming up. I see RVs off to the right. All right, well, let's go down around the marina first. And when I get out of here we'll drive over by the RVs what a nice area look at this who knew I mean searchlight <laughs> Nevada I mean this is out in the middle of nothing another oasis huh boy there's a nice houseboat look at that thing pontoon boat Perfect lake for it. Let's go out, anchor, you fish, forget about it. It's like having a floating motor home. Okay, see some boat trailers. Doesn't look too busy right now. There's our boat launch. Big one. Look at that thing. Oh, look at all the houseboats. You can rent them here. Aha. Uh -huh. There you go. All right, let me park. Get a quick video of this. And we'll head on out of here. screaming temperature really climbed coming up coming down from searchlight look at all the houseboats I bet they're all rentals looks like a store a little market it even looks like a little motel across the way there cafe and your houseboats not bad. Check it out. Cottonwood Cove. Ready? Yeah, I bet it jumped 10 degrees just driving down from Searchlight. Because we were up over 2,000 feet. Down here, I bet we're only a few hundred feet above sea level. 
Okay, I bet they sell a ton of ice here. Dumpsters. That looks like their office for the part of the RV park. Okay, let me just pull around here. I'm not going to drive all the way through it. This will give you a good idea. It looks like full hookups. See a lot of empties. I bet this fills up in the winter time. There you go. Cottonwood Cove Campground. RV Park. Marina. Huh. Not bad. In Searchlight. Nevada. Okay, well, let's head back up to US 95. We're going to keep going north. Yeah, look at that rock wall. Look at that. That water just must scream down through here when a heavy rain. Woof. Protects that mobile home park, though. That is a well done wall. I wouldn't mind coming down here. Spend a weekend. It would be very worth it, I think. A little bit cooler weather though. It's pretty hot here right now. But if you're traveling down, heading down to Yuma, Quartzsite, you know, check this out. These are all places you can stop along the way. Here, going to the south of Searchlight, all the way down through Laughlin and Bullhead City. It's very RV friendly. Check them out. Nice ranger lady was right. Very, very scenic down there. There's also a bunch of four-wheeling places. Places you can hunt. Target shoot. There's all kinds of signs for it. Okay. Alright. You ever feel like you're being watched? I don't know. Weird feelings. Well, I'm definitely heading north. Uh, gotta just get up on north. All right, we're getting up here on US 95. Huh, wonder what's going on. All right, well, the next video, we're gonna be up north.